Okay, what they're talking about, the highlight of my shuffleboard playing days was I beat Billy Mays one time. Back when Billy was in his heyday, too. In fact, he had just won the tournament at my place. I think him and Fred Johns had just won it. Anyway, I played Billy head up for 26 hours. I come 11 games up on him in 26 hours. And uh, that was the <laughs> that was the highlight of my career. I told Billy that I never once told anybody that I could outshoot him. But I did for one day. <laughs> and uh, and I cleared that I cleared this with Billy before I before I told this story. I asked him, I said, Billy, do you care if I tell about the time that I beat you? He said, no, I don't care. <laughs> so I said, okay. So anyway, that's that's what it was. That was a highlight of my whole thing. I, uh, I played Billy for 26 hours straight, and I come 11 games up on him. And I busted. That was the other part about it. <laughs> and uh, Loan him 100 to get home on. Well, well, yeah, the way it really happened... <laughs> He liked a hundred having enough to pay me off the oh. last bet. Oh, that's it. And he comes to me and he told me, he says, I like a hundred dollars having enough to pay you this last bet. He said, but I'll, I'll pay you. I said, okay, Billy, I know you will. So about three or four months later, I don't remember just how long, well, I looked up one afternoon and coming through the door was old Billy. He walked over to the bar where I was at and handed me a hundred dollar bill. And he said, let's play some more shuffleboard. I said, get over there. He got over there and and I played him I played him sixteen hours that time. And we was uh we was playing for a hundred dollars a game that time. And he come three games up on me in the sixteen hours. And uh it was seven o'clock the next morning and I told him, I said, Billy, I gotta go feed the pigs. Pig feed time. I had a hog ranch and we fed at seven o'clock. And he said, well, I haven't got my money back yet. And I told him, I said, no, and you're never going to get it back off of me. And I said, you've got all of it back that you're going to get back. you got 300 of it back, and that's all you're going to get. I said, I'll never play you again if I'm not your partner. I said, I, I, I never once said I was a better player than you. I said, but I did. I was for one day. And I said, I'll give you a chance to get it back, and you didn't get it back. And that's, that's all of it. And that's true. I've never played Billy since. i played partners with him. In fact, me and him one time played you and Bob Miles for a thousand dollar nights in my place there in B two, yeah. and and I and I had people to ask me. Said, "Wasn't you flattered that Billy would take you for your partner yeah. and shoot for a thousand dollars?" I mean, what I I told him, I said, "No, not at all." I said, "The thing was, Billy, he thought he could take a rank stranger off the street and beat anybody in the world." I said, "And then he could take me and could get a get a match with a guy like me, and where he couldn't mm. get a match with maybe a." one of the top players, I said, and that was the reason he took me. I knew I knew where I stood in that deal. It wasn't because he thought I shot all that great. But uh, anyway, uh, that was my highlight of my shuffleboard playing thing. 